Well, Tanya, we've been talking about it uh, throughout the morning. Road crews have spent much of the time just getting those main roads uh, taken care of, and that's why you can see that these side streets, we're here in Walnut Hills, you can see that this is just ice right now, so hard that uh, it's encased. You have to really dig into it to try to even find out where you know where the snow is at this point so most of the side streets still covered in, in ice and we spent most of the morning out in the uh, on the west side of town where we were in price hill and roads like glenway avenue were treated and, and and drivable shortly after the storm blew through but the problem for many drivers was getting from those side streets to the roads that had been treated the main streets here, like Glenway and that, was okay in Queen City. Some of the side streets, like Ferguson and the off streets, were a little slushy and very thick, you know, frozen snow, actually, so it was kind of hard to get any traction. But once you got going on here, it was it was fine, you know. And uh, I seen on the news, the highways looked like they were fine. So uh, overall, I guess it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So the problem is you can be driving on a road like Glenway Avenue and, uh, have it it's fine but then you come up on a hill here in Walnut Hills where the the roads have not been treated they are uh encased in ice at this point so road crews all 46 trucks from the city are out working right now but obviously they are not able to get to every street at this point and many are still untreated and uh, covered in snow as as it is here in Walnut Hills Bryce Onslinger not on your side live in Walnut Hills Thank you Bryce right now Campbell County is under a level 2 travel advisory 9 on your side reporter